guys, Lassic here. So today we have another Doki Doki crate to open. This crate was sent to me from Doki Doki Crate for an honest review. I was not paid to do a review for this, but I was sent this free crate to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started! I already cut the tape on the bottom for easy opening, and here it goes. Yay! Okay, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a little kitty girl. Oh, it's a little Neko Mimi. And this one is number 10, which is September 2016 issue. And I really, really love how they have different artists work on the pamphlet or the booklet all the time. So cute. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of Kyo from Fruits, Fruits Basket. So when you actually open the pamphlet, you can... Oh, so this one is cat theme. Hence the cover, of course. And there's a little comic strip. And, um, oh, I think that shows what's inside. And this one shows the Sudeki crate, which is their premium crate that they only choose one random winner each month and they send the Sudeki crate to. So whoever won the Sudeki crate this month have received these items. And here are some photos of the previous box. Oh, and there's a little photo contest going on this month. Um, and that's the first prize and the lucky prize is this one. So let's see. Oh, I see a little plush. Oh my gosh. And I see Pusheen. So here is Pusheen sticker with a laptop. This would be the perfect sticker to put on your laptop if you like to decorate your laptop case. And it's an official Pusheen sticker, of course. Then, oh my gosh, we got another Pusheen item. But let's look at this. Oh, so in each box, they have been working with Opechan. And they've been just sending um, Hopechan charm in each box. So here is Hopechan charm of this month. And this month's Hopechan is wearing Neko Mimi ears with a little bow on the top. And I would try to open these little pyramid case, but I actually have failed several times. I failed it last time too, so I'm not even gonna bother. But the case, I don't know if you guys can tell. But has little musical notes printed and of course i just noticed that she even has a little cat tail <laughs> so cute and moving on we also have this cat plush i wonder if this is their original character oh my gosh i just realized she is so close <laughs> so here is a cat plush which has a little hat on the top little fuzzies on the side little blushing of course the blushing should be up here i think but still really cute and then there's a little fuzzy tail i think her name is julie it says julie is a fluffy white cat who prides herself on her class and sophisticated style and there's more paragraph if you want to read there you go you can feel free to pause the video if you want to read more about her there is japan crate um, label, so I'm assuming that she is exclusive to Doki Doki Crate. She's really cute, but I think my favorite plush that I have received from Doki Doki Crate so far is probably Take, and I forgot the name of the other one, but they were little plush bunnies. I thought they were really, really cute. And then we also have this Pushing Cat hat beanie, which has Pushing Cat's face on the bottom, and this would be perfect for fall and winter season coming out. It's really simple though. It's a simple Pushing Cat gray color with Pushing Cat's face and then there's Pushing Cat's tag. I like, you know, useful and cute items. And here's another item. <gasps> oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is this? I need to look at the, look at the booklet. <laughs> look at the booklet. And this one is called Shikakui Koneko Coin Purse. Oh, so it's a coin purse. And I think you can get different styles. I see eight different styles on the top. I'll give you guys a closer look on the tag as well. But let's take this one out. This one is so adorable. So here's a closer look on the tag. There are eight different kinds like it says right here. And the one I got is the sleeping sky blue one right here. It almost looks more minty on my camera, but it is sky blue color and this one is so cute. Look, it's sleeping and I love how it's in like a cube shape. His little paws. Oh wait, why only two? You're missing two. <laughs> and then there's a little tail. There's a little zipper. So obviously you can't really store too many coins in here, but still really cute. And the inside has sponge stuffing to keep his shape. I think I'm just gonna keep him like this because I think he is so cute like this. 
wonder which one my sister got. <laughs> and then here is the final item, which is their t-shirt. They have been sending out um, the t-shirts since last month, and their t-shirt design last month was really cute. So I'm really curious to see which one is in this one. I got size medium because size large was way too large for me. They're not, you know, female sizes. They're actually unisex sizes. So you might have to go buy your unisex size if you decide to order your Doki Doki Crate. Oh my gosh! Do you see? They're little helping kitties. Here's one, two, three, and four. And I also like the color of it. But even for medium, I still think this is quite large. I wonder if their shirts just generally run large. So I'll insert a video clip of me wearing this t-shirt. So here is how the t-shirt looks on me. I'm sorry if it's a bit echoey, but here is the t-shirt design. Ooh! <laughs> the messiness in the background. Um, so yeah, so this is size medium and it's still a little large on me. So I think for the next box, I'm going to get size small. Um, these I think run in unisex sizes, but even with unisex sizes, I think they run a little bit large. So if you are a bit bigger, um, it might be a good news for you because I think a lot of subscription boxes, even though they, you know, offer different range of sizes, sometimes a t-shirt can run a bit small. But this one, you know, they tend to run a little bit large. So if you usually wear, you know, unisex small, just order unisex, I don't know, X small. And then, yeah, just kind of go a size smaller because they run, they tend to run a little bit large. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is really cute. I like it. I like the design on it. I'm sorry about the messy background, but those are my, those are our ACs that's been taken down. <laughs> Here are the items I got from my September Doki Doki crate. So compared to previous months, we definitely got fewer items, but in my opinion, these items are actually worth a little more. And I love how some of the items are licensed items. The Pushing Cat items are definitely licensed. And I also appreciate the fact that they sent useful stuff, not just cute, but also really useful items in this box. My favorite though, if I were to choose one, it would definitely be the stackable coin purse because I just find him to be so adorable. Which one's your favorite? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to get your own Doki Doki crate, I'll provide the information in the description box below for you guys to check out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!